Are you dealing with bloating and digestive issues and think you may have SIBO? If yes, chances are you've probably thought about doing a lactulose hydrogen breath test. Check out this video as I discuss a brand new research study looking at the accuracy of an at-home testing device. What's up and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, fitness enthusiast, creator of SIBO Shortcut, as well as Bloat Blocker. My new bloating supplement with a unique combination of ingredients designed to target bloating and digestive symptoms. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO is a common cause of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, as well as bloating and a variety of digestive symptoms. While SIBO is becoming more acknowledged as an actual medical condition, there's still a lot of differences in opinion on the best ways to test for SIBO. A few common differences of opinion include which sugars to use for breath testing, how to properly analyze breath test results, and which tests are the most accurate. The food marble air is an at home device that can be used for SIBO breath testing. As a quick full disclosure, I am an affiliate of Food Marble. This video aims to answer two questions. Number one, is the Food Marble Air device accurate in determining the proper amount of hydrogen gas on a test? Is the Food Marble Air as accurate as conventional mail in breath tests that check for SIBO via hydrogen lactulose breath test? In this particular study, the Food Marble Air was compared against two other companies, which were Commonwealth Diagnostic. International and Trio Smart. And speaking of SIBO, if you've been diagnosed with it or think you may have it, I support clients in my online program, SIBO Shortcut. In the program, you get access to all my top protocols, recommendations, discounts on supplements, as well as individualized support in my private Facebook group. To learn more, go to SIBOShortcutInfo.com or click the SIBO Shortcut link in the pinned comment below. Back to the video. This 2024 study by the Journal of Digestive Diseases and Sciences was just published a couple weeks ago at the end of July. It included 50 patients and it answered the two questions I mentioned previously. Number one, is the food marble air accurate in determining proper hydrogen gas levels? And number two, is the food marble air as accurate as other conventional? I'm making this distinction here because the food marble air is a device you use at home, whereas the other tests, you do the test and you ship it out in the mail and wait for your results. And for the results, for question number one, is the food marble air accurate in determining hydrogen hydrogen breath test levels. And the results found that across all three air devices, the MAE or mean absolute error at three parts per million, 10 parts per million, and 50 parts per million were 0 0.7, 1, and 1.9 parts per million respectively. And then it goes on to say the overall mean absolute error was 1.2 parts per million. So basically what this is saying in the study, they took three pre-measured canisters, three parts per million, 10 parts per million, and 50 parts per million of hydrogen gas. And we know those are the exact quantities. And then they compared that with the readings given by the food marble. And so on average, the food marble was 0.7 parts per million off when it was compared with the three parts per million canister. It was 1.0 parts per million off on average when compared against the 10 parts per million canister. And it was 1.9 parts per million off on average when compared against the 50 parts per million canister. And then 1.2 was the overall mean absolute error. Meaning according to this study, if you take the true parts per million gas, and then do a food marble air test. On average, the food marble result will differ by 1.2 parts per million, which looking at this data is pretty darn accurate. And then for question number two, is the food marble air as accurate as conventional mail-in breath test during a lactulose hydrogen breath test? The results for this question showed all subjects performed lactulose hydrogen breath tests using the standard diagnostic method. And then 26% or 13 out of 50 patients that used the food marble air device tested positive for SIBO, whereas the same 13 out of 50 patients using the mail-in test kit also tested positive. And then it goes on to say there was diagnostic agreement in 90% or 45 out of 50 cases. This is saying that the food marble air and the mail-in breath test identified the same number of positive cases of SIBO. Note, this does not mean that these breath tests are only 26% accurate at picking up positive SIBO cases. It just meant that in this study, only 26% of patients tested positive for SIBO. To take a quick look at this chart here, as you can see in the top left, 
16 patients, both the Food Marble Air and then the mail in kits agreed. And then in the bottom right, the mail in kits and Food Marble Air agreed also on 32 patients that were negative for SIBO. There were five discrepancies, and of the five discrepancies in the lactose hydrogen breath test, two were positive on the air device and negative with the mail in kit, and three were positive with the mail in kit and negative on the air device. So it seems like per this data, one test doesn't seem to run more high or low in picking up more positive or negative cases. For a visual of the lactose hydrogen breath test results, the mail-in breath test results are right here in red. The red dots are the average hydrogen gas in parts per million. And then in blue, the food marble breath test results are right here. The blue dots in this case are the average hydrogen gas in parts per million. And then if I lay the two charts one over top of the other, which I tried my best to do that right here, you can see the data in the study is really, really similar, which seems to suggest per this study, the food marble air gives comparable hydrogen breath test results as other mail-in conventional tests. Moving on to conclusions and takeaways from the study, to address this right up front, there were members of Food Marble on the panel conducting this study. You can interpret this however you like. This is always going to be something that I'm going to point out right away anytime that I share data or research with you. To be fair though, if they're not involved in the study, there's really nobody else that's going to take the initiative to actually study this and see how accurate it is. Takeaway number two, Food Marble Air seemed to give accurate hydrogen results when compared against stock samples of hydrogen gas at 3, 10, and 50 parts per million, with the average reading only being off by 1.2 parts per million. Takeaway number three, per this study, Food Marble Air provided comparable results to mail-in breath tests when looking at lactulose hydrogen breath test readings. There was a 90% agreement between each two types of tests, which was 45 out of 50 patients. Takeaway number four, always keep in mind, doing breath tests like this, they're not 100% accurate, unfortunately. Is it possible to have false negatives? Yes. However, using breath testing is the most readily available tool we have at our disposal to try to diagnose this condition. So for somebody that has chronic undiagnosed digestive symptoms, I'm still in favor of using them. And then takeaway number five, last takeaway, this study only looked at hydrogen gas and did not measure methane gas. This is definitely something I'd be curious to know and have more information on. That is all for today. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. I post a new video every Monday in YouTube shorts throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.